hi everyone welcome to today's tutorial and in this video i will be showing you how you can create this plug point vector image right so it's really easy to do and let's see how that's done so let's open a new document first so for this video i will be using this a4 size document and this time instead of a portrait i the orientation will be landscape and due to which the values is a little different now the width will be 297 millimeters and the height will be 210 millimeters i will give a name to my document called plug point and create okay so before i begin i would like to make also make sure that I'm in the correct window. So to make sure that I'm in this essential classics options from this drop down box below. Then only I will be able to see all these tools right here on my screen. So the first thing I'm going to do is to create the body of my plug point, which is this big light gray, light gray body. So for that, I'll be using this rectangle tool and removing the fill for now i'll just click and drag my mouse to make one big rectangle like this and now the next thing i want to do is also start making this section where the plug points go in mainly for your laptops or if you have a really different type of plug point right so while my rectangle is still selected, I'll just click and drag my mouse again to make this rectangle like that. And I'll just ground round the edges off a little bit like this. Similarly, I'll round the edges of the bigger rectangle that we made as a base like that. I'll select these two and make sure that it's centrally aligned. To do that, I'll go to this align panel and click on this vertical align center like this. Now you can see it's now centrally aligned. Now I'll start by making the plug points to plug points over here as shown in this one, like these two plug points. Right. So I'll first select the ellipse tool and give it a proper dimension to it which will be 10 millimeters by 10 millimeters like this I'll just drag my circle on this point go back to the rectangle tool again and make one small rectangle like that okay so I'll again select this and make sure that it's that it's centrally aligned vertically and I'll choose this one vertically aligned center like that. So once that's done we can go ahead and select this go to object transform and reflect to make a mirror copy of the same thing on the other side right so I'll make sure that the vertical is selected and if you click on preview you can see that this object is now flipped over as a mirror image and click on copy. Once that's done, I'll just move this one along on the other side like that. Come back to the layers panel. Go back and select the ellipse tool again. This time I'll make the, make the next circle a little bit more bigger. So I'll change the dimensions from 10 mm to 15 mm by 15 mm like that and bring it to the middle portion like that I'll actually bring this a little bit more down like this I'll go ahead and make two more rectangles sorry two more circles on the bottom portion like that I'll select this and by clicking on alt I'll make another copy right below like this and another one like that. I'll select these two 
and probably make them a little bit more smaller more in a more oval shape like this and like wait I'll select this select this again and just choose this anchor point by clicking on shift I'll select this anchor point as well no actually I just want to select this anchor point the sides one because this has to be a little bit more of an oval shape right wait I'll do this one by one because it's a lot easier that way I'll select this anchor point and bring it outwards by clicking on by clicking on the arrow tools once twice thrice similarly on the other side once twice thrice select the anchor point and by using the arrow arrow buttons on my keyboard this and as you can see that the shape has changed a little bit like that so now you can go ahead and fill these shapes with color so I'll select all the shapes that we just created and choose the color to be black like that so once that's done we can also if you want like let's just make this a little bit more bigger this get this a little bit more closer like that I'll select this portion click on all to make a mul make a second copy right across like that so once that's done the only thing that is left to make is this middle portion of the switch now to do that we'll go back to the rectangle tool I'll remove the fill do not require it for now and just make one thin rectangle smaller thinner rectangle like that I also round it off a little like this but I'll go to this line tool make one line going across like this it's not straight actually and to make sure that your line that the line you make is straight click on shift and just drag your mouse downwards like that I'll select these two shapes again whoops no no wait undo yeah select this one and this line I'll go to this shape builder tool and by clicking on alt I'll deselect the upper line and the lower line like that yeah go back to the rectangle tool and just make smaller rectangles like that like this and make a copy out of it by clicking on alt and like so once this is made now you can see that it somewhat looks like a plug point so you can go ahead and select this oops this middle one again and make this a little bit more smaller like this so now let's go ahead and also fill this one with colors so as a reference I can see that this body is light gray so I'll select this and go to this fill option right here and choose one of this lighter shades of light gray like that select this rounded square and this one I'll select these two as well since I want the fill of these squares to be white I'll select this one and fill it in with a little bit more darker shade of grey like that now for the final step I'll select all of this 
and I'll go ahead and remove the stroke. Now wait, actually undo this. I'll select this line and make it white. Yeah. So I'll select everything except for this middle stroke that we just made, right? Select this, this, select this one, this, making sure I've selected everything and just remove the stroke like that. So once this is made, our plug point is now ready. So now let's go ahead and also save this file. To do that, we'll go to file, click on save as. So by default, our file name remains to be plug point and our save as type will be Adobe Illustrator. I highly recommend that we save a file in this format so that in case if I want to make any changes, I can easily access my Adobe Illustrator file and make any changes that I want to. And we just click on save and okay and that's it. So to how do you know that your document is successfully been saved? You'll see over here, right in front of the document name that we had given, this dot AI comes in, which means it's successfully been saved as an Adobe Illustrator file. So once that's done, we can now close this file. So now that we've come to the end of this tutorial, I hope you found this video to be useful. And with a little practice, you can soon create other things in Adobe Illustrator as well. So thank you for watching and keep practicing.